D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So for this episode uh, on my uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to be ranking all of the uh, Marvel's What If episodes from uh, my least favorite to my favorite. Now, before I get started on this, I want to say two things. The first thing is that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine always get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. The second thing I want to say is that I'm selling merch now. So go ahead and check this out. Geek What is now a clothing brand that designs unique streetwear with a geek slash nerd attitude. Some of the core values of Geek What is to see the geekdom for how amazing it is, which is something I've always encouraged on this channel. Here's a look at my latest shirt that was designed by artist Patrick Walters, with my favorite design being me as a cartoon. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click on the link in the description down below. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. All right, so you guys can head over there and maybe buy something if you so feel so. Uh, if you do, it really helps me out and I really appreciate it and I thank you in advance also. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started on this ranking. Uh, before I get started, I just finished my uh, review for season one. You can check that out up here in the iCard section. Um, but I really didn't care for this show overall. Uh, you know, there are some good things, but overall, it's just not good in my opinion. Um, this was supposed to be a 10 episode season. Um, and I guess one of the episodes, the Gamora episodes, they didn't have it finished animation wise. Hold on a second. Sorry, I needed some libation. But they didn't have it finished, which made me wonder because Jennifer Lee over at uh, Disney Animation, uh, they let all their animators take home their computers so they could work on uh, their films and stuff at home. And one of the things I liked about it was Encanto. Uh, she said it was a movie about a home made at home. And I thought that was really nice. And I'm just like, why didn't Marvel do that with these animators? I mean, where were these animators at? Are they American? And if so, why didn't they let them take their computers home? Uh, Disney, they're all working at Disney anyway. So it just was weird. And I'm all like, you know, uh, some of the and some of the animation in these uh, episodes weren't all the best. So I'm all like, what's going on? What's going on over at Marvel? But hey, whatever. You know what? It's totally cool. Um, but uh, and I don't think that that episode would have added anything to this season, if you ask me. Um, and so I'm going to go through this. I'm going to start at my least favorite. But at first, I want to talk about Marvel What If comic books first. Now, I love the comic books as a kid, and I still love them now. I went before this show started because this this show, I was looking forward to this show more than any other DC or uh, Disney Plus uh, Marvel show. I, I love animation. I love the what if comic book. So I was really looking forward to this and it really let me down like hardcore. It really let me down. I'm so bummed that it let me down. Um, the what if comic books were basically one offs. And uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's just basically like a, like I just bought one that what if the Punisher became an agent of shield instead of, you know, becoming the Punisher. Another one was that I just recently bought was what if storm from the X-Men stayed a thief instead of becoming an X-Man. You know, and there's like, what if the Punisher had killed the Marvel Universe? What if, what if uh, Uncle Ben had survived, had not died, and it was Aunt May that had gotten shot instead of him? Um, there's a bunch of Spider-Man ones. Like, what if uh, uh, Spider-Man had ended up with Gwen Stacy instead of uh, Mary Jane, kind of thing? You know, all the, or what if it was, what if Gwen Stacy hadn't have died? Um, so all these little one, and they're usually one-offs. One, maybe two. You might get two comic books that are the same story. I think the the Punisher kills off the Marvel Universe was two. I have it in one, but uh, it, I think it was two issues and then they just combined it to a big one. Anyways, so, uh, so like I said, but this was supposed to be within the realm of the MCU. So I was like, okay, fine. I can deal with a lot of it, but they interconnected it, which is not what the, uh, what if concept was. It was just supposed to be this, this what if, and then it was, and done and done and gone. And I would have been able to get past that if these this show was written well. And I don't think it was written well at all. In fact, I, I think AC Bradley, the head writer on this, did a very bad job writing. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit more as I talk about these. Okay, so I'm going to start off uh, my list of ranking. 
And I'm going to start off with my least favorite, okay? And that is uh, coming in at number nine is episode number seven, What If Thor Were an Only Child? I did not like this episode. I mean, there were there were things that I did like about this. Ep- well, there was only really one other thing that I liked about this episode, and that was the fight between uh, Captain Marvel and Thor. I liked it. It was super good. Uh, it was fun. It would be nice to see it live action, but... Other than that, everything else in this episode was just, in my opinion, trash. I didn't like it at all. I just didn't like this episode. Uh, Coming in at number eight is episode number six. What if Killmonger rescued Tony Stark? Now, I didn't like this episode a lot. The only reason it got above uh, that it didn't get last was because the Thor party one was just complete nonsense. I mean, I didn't like it at all. Like there was like there was that fight was good, but it was not that good. But anyways, but this one really bothered me a lot. Uh, And I didn't like it because I mean, Killmonger is such a douche in every sense of the word. That's his that's his character. I get it. Um, What's his Michael B. Jordan did a good job, but Killmonger is not a good person, obviously. And this this just, you know, proves it also. But I didn't like this episode because it was really divisive, in my opinion. And I think that AC Bradley is a gross person because of it. Um, It had it had men versus women with uh, Pepper Potts versus Tony and uh, uh, Shuri versus uh, Killmonger. Uh, It had them versing each other. And then it had black versus white. Uh, you know, with America, you know, where you had General Ross and Tony Stark uh, and Tony Stark tech kind of thing versus uh, Wakanda, you know, Killmonger and Wakanda and everything. It was just really gross and really divisive. And I think they meant to do that. I think AC Bradley meant to do that. And she's, you know, she's a disgusting person because of it. Um, You think so too. You just don't want to admit it. Coming in at number seven is episode two, What If T'Challa Became Star-Lord? It was really nice to see... uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman come back to to voice T'Challa, but it, but it, the episode was poorly written. I thought it was you had Space Jesus basically as T'Challa, and he talks about him reallocating you know uh, so resources in the universe, um, and how he was able to talk to people about this. Like he was able to get Thanos to stop his whole snap thing, but they didn't explain how, and that's a good question because I don't think he would have been able to do it in all honesty. Uh, and they didn't explain how, and then some other like I. Know other people some people want to be like you're nitpicking with this stuff but no this is bad writing when he's called star lord uh chris pratt's character is called star lord because his mom gave him that name as a child and then just had him as his nickname how t'challa has the name star lord is completely ridiculous and i don't think that uh they knew what they were doing when they did that and it's really it's really annoying also a thing that happened was he has his necklace in the episode where he's running and everything and then he comes across a wakandan ship and his, his necklace starts growing blue and they when he gets abducted by yandu's men he doesn't have that necklace so my question is where did he get that necklace from and this is you can say these are nitpicks that's fine it's not though it's just bad writing like i'm able to nitpick because you don't know how to write an episode like you're just all of a sudden like oh yeah we'll do this and then when somebody questions you on you you're just like oh you're just nitpicking no i'm asking you to explain yourself i'm asking you to explain your crappy writing okay where did you go to school at brown you should be able to write something better than this i don't know if she went to brown or not probably not she's probably she's not smart enough to write something to go to brown and write something um the coming in at number six is episode nine what if the watcher broke his oath i don't like the idea of the watcher breaking his oath he's only done it like a handful of times and when he does it it's because literally like like in i just didn't like that ultron was going from multiverse to multiverse and destroying life i'm like he would i think it would have been better and i'll talk about this when we get to it i think it would have been better if he had stayed in his world, just contemplating his whole existence, like I like like they did with Doctor Strange, stay in your little bubble and don't lose, don't move from that little bubble, like just stay in that bubble. I thought that was a way better idea than having this thing. Coming in at number five is episode number one. What if Captain Carter were the first Avenger? Now, I did like the action sequences in this uh, episode. I did like her, that that plane scene is so good when she's jumping from plane to plane, uh, destroying the Nazi aircraft and everything. I thought that was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, like, you know, besides seeing She-Hulk, 
but with you know fair skin uh it was not good you know it just wasn't good i i was i you know whatever all right coming in at number four is episode number three what if the world's most oh lost its mightiest heroes now i liked this episode in the sense that first off the animation in this episode was the worst in my opinion this had the worst animation out of all the episodes in my opinion um, it looked very boxy. I didn't. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. But uh, one thing I did like about this episode was the murder mystery of it all. I liked having, you know, they're all getting murdered off. Murdered, murdered who? Murdered the Avengers, that's who. But the thing is, who murdered them? Oh, yeah, we don't get to figure that out until the end, but we had no clue of who it could be because the thing about a murder mystery is we like to play along as uh, participants. And this one, you had no clues onto who it was until it showed up. I mean, you did have, when they're all like, when What's Her Face was all about, like, it's all about hope and everything. But I literally thought it was Hope Van Dyne, but she had faked her death and she was killing everybody off for some random reason. But it wasn't. And we didn't have any opportunity to, to guess who it was correctly. And that was really annoying. I hate when I hate when any uh, murder mystery does that. It's super frustrating and annoying. Stop doing that, Hollywood. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants it. Coming in at number three is episode number four. What if Dr. Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? Now, I really like this episode a lot. There's only one thing that I absolutely disliked in this episode, and that was the fact that he killed Capey, the little cape or whatever. Is that what we're calling him, Capey? Or whatever we're calling the cape. When he destroyed that, I was like, what? Daddy doesn't like at all. But everything else is pretty much in this episode. I mean, he got all morgified and looked all gross when he had all those demons in him. But I liked the demon possession thing. I like seeing Rachel die. Was that her name, Rachel? Rachel McAdams. Anyways, uh, I like seeing her die a bunch of times. Just not that I like seeing people die, but it was interesting that she had to die so he could become the Sorcerer Supreme. I don't understand how that's a thing but whatever like it's it, that part doesn't bother me as much as a lot of the other stuff although it was pretty stupid that they didn't explain that all right coming in at number two is episode eight what if ultron won now i liked this episode for one reason i really liked the natasha uh bart stuff in the dystopian future um i liked seeing that uh ultron got the vision body that he was supposed to get i thought that was very clever um i liked that seeing natasha and bart with their action sequences that was really good i liked it a lot i liked it when he used that arrow and it created that shield and he was finding the little things i liked them going to russia and everything but I didn't after, but I didn't like the fact that it was connected to the rest of this season. Um, you know, the stuff with Ultron was fine, but that stuff didn't interest me nearly as much as uh, the Natasha Bart stuff. Um, yeah, that's just the end. I, I really wish they would have kept him in that little bubble, you know, like right after he had killed off the entire universe, he's all like, now what and everything and when the watchers all like he's an he's an ai with, he's you know with no mission and i like that because he was like dr strange he was stuck in his little his little bubble and that's where he was and i like that and i felt that they should have kept him in his little bubble but they didn't do that and it was really annoying so coming in number one you've guessed it is episode five what if zombies now i have to admit i'm getting sick and tired of the whole zombie thing it really is obnoxious and annoying and everybody's doing it these days but the thing i like about this episode it was actually a comic book it wasn't a what if comic book and i really wish they would have just done a what if zombies show like maybe five or six episodes or maybe 12 episodes like the original comic book series because how this was is is in the, they, they did a, I think it, I can't remember who wrote it. I want to say it was Kirkman, but don't quote me on that because I honestly don't remember. But one, it was a 12 issue uh, comic book series, but then it had offshoots. If you read comic books, you know, but I'll explain it to those who don't read comic books, how a big event in comic books, Marvel and DC, both how it works is, Mostly in Marvel, though. Marvel does a lot of them. That's why I stopped reading Marvel comic books, because that's all they do. Okay, so we have these big events. Okay, so for this one, it was 12 issues. 12 issues were dedicated to Marvel zombies, okay? But then they had offshoots. Like, for instance, you had uh, a Black Panther. You had two issues that were devoted to the zombie storyline. I think Spider-Man had one. I own all of them, except for the very first issue, which I'll talk about in just two seconds. But it it, it had all these, like, Thor had one or something like that. Spider-Man had one, I believe. Uh, you know, 
know, Captain America had one and it was all connected to the Marvel Zombies storyline. And it started off with a ultimate uh, Fantastic Four, I believe it was ultimate Fantastic Four. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head because I don't own it. I wish I did. But okay, so it was basically like the Marvel Zombies were from an alternate universe and it was the Fantastic Four um, they, they, I, gosh, I don't remember how they explained how the, the zombies started, but it wasn't from an alternate, uh, it wasn't from the quantum realm kind of thing, but they get it. And then they're trying to get off into the multiverse because uh, Reed Richards finds out and he's trying to get into the ultimate universe and they do get through the fantastic four does get through and then they get stopped by Reed Richards of the ultimate universe, but <clears throat> it ends with Magneto saving the last three humans on earth uh, by getting them through the multiverse portal and then it closes and he's standing there holding off all the Avengers slash superheroes that have come to fight him. And it's really good. And they had a lot, they had stuff from the comic books in here. Like when T'Challa is lying on the table and he's got his leg cut off, that's totally from the comic books. Um, when Spider-Man has his head cut off and everything, that is not, if that's from the comic books, but it's not uh, Peter Parker or it's not Ant-Man. It's Ant-Man when he's had a cut off. It's not Ant-Man. It's uh uh, Hope Van Dyne, but in the comic book, she's the wasp. It's not uh, what's her face. Um, but yeah, so or Hope, yeah, because what's the mom's name? It doesn't matter, anyways. But uh, yeah, so that one's my favorite one. I really, I liked it. I liked that one. That was the only one I can say I actually liked. I mean, the rest of them, like there were. Th well, I did. I really liked the Doctor Strange one, and then I really liked the 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 stuff between Natasha and Bart in Episode Eight. So episode five, eight, and four, I'll say I liked them. But the rest of them, no, I didn't like them. I mean, no. Nope, nope, nope. All right. So that is my ranking for uh, Marvel's What If. Tell me, what did you guys think about this show? What is your ranking? Leave it down below. Leave all your angry comments, too. I know you guys are all mad at me now because I, I don't like your show. Whatever. Get over it. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, uh, leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind if you do my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys um, on my next ranking video when it happens. You guys have a good day. Bye.